Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. After I got so much feedback from you guys on the ready to wear inspiration video I did on the new, uh, new look patterns, I am back to do the same exact thing for the new Berta style patterns. So I have picked my three uh, standout favorite, most inspirational Berta style patterns. And I am going to be showing everyone my ready to wear inspiration and also where you can get the fabric so that you can make the garment yourself. So our first one is this little gem. And if you remember from the first impression video that I did on the new Berta style patterns, I said, if I had seen this pattern a couple of weeks ago, I would have gone right past it. But I had just started seeing all of these double breasted, um, kind of like, uh, dress coats, dress coats, dress, dresses that look like coats. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. And so that made this really stand out to me because this is very, very on trend right now, especially wearing it sleeveless without a turtleneck. So I found this little cutie from Calvin Klein. Um, is this the only way to zoom? Yeah. Um, isn't that adorable? You've got your little peak lapel, your double breasted closure. They've even got welt pockets. Super cute. Here it is in the back. You can see there, I think they've got a center back seam. Really good job matching the plaid though. I do have to say so. Um, and then you've also got my favorite back darts. Yay. <laughs> um, and then here is a close up version of the, um, like bodice portion of the dress. Super cute, $140. All they have is this gray color. I do wanna say before I showed the fabric that I found that this looks really cute in any kind of plaid. I've seen it in lots of different versions of plaid, always really cute. And it also looks really nice and elegant and sharp and a solid too. So don't feel like the one that I chose is like the only one you can use. It looks really cute in a lot of different fabrics. I will say though that you do need to find a stretch suiting. Um, this one here is made from poly, rayon, and spandex. Um, so the one that I found is a Telio fabric from fabric.com that has, you guessed it, poly, rayon, and spandex. Um, so it's a little confusing because here it says very lightweight, but in the description it says medium to heavyweight. So I think you just have to trust your knowledge base of fabrics and know that this is gonna produce a not very lightweight fabric. But stretch suiting is really um, the key words here. Um, I would go to your favorite um, fabric store, whether that's online or um, brick and mortar and look for the stretch suiting that they have. And I think you'll be just fine. But I chose this one. It is gray. Um, that is reminiscent of our inspiration. I couldn't find anything exactly like this that was so minimalist and like tone on tone. Um, I have seen stuff like that in the past, but just couldn't get to it today. Um, but, um, this one does have your gray background, but then it also has a little bit of black, a little bit of white, a little bit of blue. Um, I think that in my opinion, the more menswear that the fabric is, the cuter that this dress looks. I think it's just like a juxtaposition of like hard, serious menswear with kind of like a playful, cute dress. Do you know what I'm saying? So... These are adorable. These are everywhere. You will be seeing them a ton, a ton, a ton. I went to Joanne today and my Joanne was sold out of this pattern. I was going to buy it. They were sold out. So if that's any indication of the popularity of that style. Okay. Next up is this adorable comfy sweater with kind of like a funnel neck and then a drop shoulder and ties on the sleeve. 
kind of basic, nothing really special, but I did want to show you that, you know, there are luxe versions of it out there. This one was from Madewell. Um, it's already sold out at Nordstrom. That could just mean it was like last season's version, but it was the closest one I could find with the drop shoulder and the tie. Um, I did find current versions at J. Crew and Gap, but those were a little bit more fitted. So I didn't want to show those, but I did want to show you another version. This doesn't have the funnel neck. It just has a crew neck. Um, here we can zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better. Um, but yeah, I did want to show you that like major brands, major luxe brands were making this kind of style. And if it's similar to any of the other um, made well sweaters, I think they range in like the 50 to $75 range. Um, here, let's go to Made Well now together. Isn't this fun? Very spontaneous. Okay, no, I don't want that. I want to search, or I guess I could do clothing sweaters. So let's see. So yeah, 80 bucks for that guy. Um, 88, um, these are all still very transitional, but you see 80, 90 bucks, something like that. Okay. Um, uh, oops, sneak peek. Um, so yeah, that's the inspiration picture. Now I found this tonal sweater knit. This is from Style Maker Fabrics because originally I found this ruby one which reminded me of kind of like the reddish color of this Madewell one, but she only has um, like an end of bolt sec uh, selection of that. It's in her selvage yard, so she's only got two and a half yards. So if you're the first one to get there after watching this video, you can grab this for 11 bucks a yard, um, but you have to buy the whole two and a half yard cut. But she also has these really pretty emeralds, which I think would look amazing um, in this pattern, remember? Um, and then she also has this really pretty sapphire. Jewel tones are still very much in. Um, these have a little bit of sparkle to them, so you could even like wear it to a casual like party or event. I imagine this blue with like nice black uh, wide leg pants would look so sharp, so sharp. I think you could wear that to, to a very fancy dinner. Uh, well, not very fancy, not like black tie or anything. But, you know, if it was like a really nice dinner where you're trying to impress like some people at work or if you're going to a work holiday party or even your neighbor's holiday party, I don't know. I just feel like that would look really sharp. So that's my inspiration for this guy. I think it is a really cute pattern. The sleeve ties are very um, on trend. So... I think that everyone should make this up. Um, the only thing that I was able to find out about the Madewell fabric was that it was a blend of cotton, viscose, and nylon. And so this guy is polyester, lurex, which is the metallic thread, and spandex. So this one might be a little bit more lightweight, definitely more drapey. Um, but I think that the Style Maker Fabrics fabric is maybe closer to what this is. I can't zoom in any more than I already am um, without losing, like, photo quality. Is that even getting closer? No. It's still really hard to see what it is. Gosh, that might even be, like, a sweatshirt fleece. I don't know. You guys get the idea. Let me zoom out a gajillion times. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, gosh. I think that's what I normally am at. Okay. All right. So there's that one. And then our third one is, I know, I know. When I talked about this one originally, I was like, oh, my God. But I think it really comes down to fabric choice. And I'm just not sure cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> is the way to go for this and I don't even know what to say about this so I just kind of ignored that one this is the one that I was searching for when I found this inspiration 
Uh, again, it's another sold out item. Sorry, but it was the closest that I could find because it does have a drop shoulder and it does have a collar. That was sort of hard to find, but I wanted to show you what would happen if you gave it a curved hem and maybe made it a little bit more slim through the waist. You can see this is very boxy, very oversized, which I just think in fur is difficult to pull off because fur is already like kind of bulky and then you're putting it on an oversized pattern and it's just like drowning her. But I did feel like this girl was able to accomplish kind of just a more chic but still relaxed fitting uh, faux fur coat. And options for fabric come from fabric.com again. I found this um, alpaca, faux alpaca. This is from the brand Shannon. It's the same brand that I recommended for the Sherpa in the new look um, ready to wear inspiration video. And I chose this because it has like the really long like shaggy um, fur like hers is. See, very shaggy. Um, and then you can also see the tone of this is like got a bit of like a pink undertone to it. So I thought this latte looked a little pink. I mean, it's certainly ivory. Um, but if you really, really, really like pink, I also found this faux yak. <laughs> I don't think I've ever thought I was going to say the words faux yak. Um, and it's this really pretty pink. So... I think it's very cute, very trendy. Um, the pink sort of elevates it a little bit even more. Um, I don't know. I think the, the pink could be really, really chic as well. Um, for what it's worth, Fabric.com does have a lot of faux fur options, as did Joanne. I was kind of surprised to see what they had online. Um, so, you know, if you're not into like the shaggy fur look, um, there are still a ton of options for you, but I thought that this kind of fur would look best, um, and it's the most similar to our inspiration, which looks like that. So I think this styled maybe a little bit differently. I'm not opposed to skinny jeans with it, but maybe a, just a darker wash. I don't like these light wash jeans. Um, our girl in this picture actually was headed in the right direction with her outfit. I love these like cute leggings with a high heel. And this looks to be like a shirt with kind of like a bow um, applique, maybe. That was never in any of the patterns that I saw, but... Um, I think that this is close to the right styling. These earrings with this, though, way too much. Um, but anyways, I'm just rambling now like I tend to do. So, yeah, those are my recommendations for the um, new release from Berta Style. Let me know what you guys think of what I picked out and that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you all very soon. Bye.